This is Melconesso and this is my review of the Logitech G402. I've been using this mouse for quite some time now, actually three months, and when finding this mouse, what I really wanted to find was a mouse with a shape and buttons that just feel great. Main reason because if you're coming from a Logitech MX518 or a G400S, the shape is similar but not exactly the same, but if you've been using those mice, you'll feel right at home. The buttons are really really good, they have low actuation force no matter where you press because the mouse buttons are cut off from the base mouse right here. Which means that no matter where you press, almost anyway, on the mouse button it just feels tactile and feels great. These buttons on the side, I just found them to be a gimmick in the beginning, but I came to love them because of the software that follows with the G402. I rebound the DPI button, because who needs a DPI button, honestly? Anyone who uses either 400, 800, or maybe 1600 DPI, and why would you ever switch that? So I rebound that to my push to talk button in TeamSpeak. For these mouse 5 and 4, I bound Smoke and Flash in Counter Strike Global Offensive, and the last two buttons on the left mouse button, I bound those to Decoy and Molotov, if you should ever need a decoy in Counter Strike, and for Nate, I just use 4 on my keyboard, quite standard. I came to love these buttons, because instead of having all your nades on different keystrokes on your keyboard, it's just so convenient to have it on your mouse. The shape is great, the buttons are great, I just came to like the, the mouse so much. The only fault of the mouse in my eyes is the sensor. It is an old sensor, so it's the same the one that was in the G100S, and it's not a bad sensor, it is a flawless sensor, in the sense that there's no weird acceleration and stuff like that, but it can only track a max speed of around 3ms, which is quite fast, you never use them if, or you never use that speed if you play League of Legends, uh, World of Warcraft, Smite, stuff like that, but if you play Counter-Strike Global Offensive and you make a flick shot, you might go over that. If you do that, your mouse just jiggles and, well, you get nowhere. So, to fix that, Logitech made some software and put a gyro in the mouse to determine and make an educated guess on where you're going with a mouse. So, when you do a flick shot, if you go over the 3ms, the software kicks in and tries to do a guess on where you're going. This might not be 100% precise, but it's quite good and I never saw, like, I could never feel it being bad in any way. What I could feel was some weirdness when it was on, always, like, I don't know if that was some kind of input delay or whatever it was, but it just felt a bit off, not, not exactly a lot, and for stuff like League of Legends I never noticed it, but when playing Counter-Strike it was just kind of off, so I went about and turned off the Fusion engine. Um, that might not be the best solution, but it was what I did and it worked for me. I just would like if Logitech put in a better sensor, maybe the one from the G303 or the 502, because it's just a better sensor. This is flawless, this is precise, but the sensor in the G303 and the 502 can just meet, uh, reach a higher max tracking speed, which would be convenient and nice to have. The G303 as well have a braided cable instead of this stiff cable. So what I would really like to see is a G403, like an updated version of this. Same shape, same button, same great feel in the hand, with a braided cable and an improved sensor for the max track speed. I would recommend this mouse to 99% of all people playing games, because you're never gonna reach that max strength speed unless you play Counter-Strike competitively and you want to reach a pro level or whatever. Maybe that's not for you then, uh, this mouse, but if you just play casually, you play with friends, you play uh, League of Legends, Smite, stuff like that, this will be great. Uh, as always, like and subscribe the video if you liked it. If you have any questions, just post them in the comment section below and I'll see you in another one. The next one might be G303, so stay tuned.